like this one says mama, which I thought was adorable. They're all the same size, but. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to another vlog. I am getting ready to go do some hair and I'm really looking forward to today. I feel like Tuesdays have, for the longest time, they always end up being like really long days and it's always like just a exhausting way to start the week but today i only have one client which is totally fine with me i'm pretty booked up the rest of this week and i just feel so grateful like things have been going really well and my parents are coming into town next weekend and then the weekend after that i'm going to be going out of town so i need to get ahead on youtube videos and just like content in general so I'm kind of happy to just have one client today because that's going to give me some extra time to film and edit and that kind of stuff. But yes, on the agenda today, I have a new client coming in and I'm really looking forward to it. You'll see her hair when we get there, but from the photo she submitted to me, she is definitely in need of a refresh and just like a new a new perspective with her hair. I find that a lot of hairstylists kind of just get stuck in a rut with their work and with their clients, especially like regulars who've been coming to them for a long time. And I definitely like used to be guilty of this. Maybe there's times where I'm still guilty of this, you know? No one's perfect. But when you're just doing the same thing and the same placement, over and over and over again, it just gets a little stale. But I've been getting a lot of new clients and I've been hearing a lot of the same kind of stuff. Like, yeah, I would just always get the same thing and I'm getting tired of it. And even if they don't necessarily wanna like completely change their look, but it's like, it's just been a lot of clients that are like, oh, I, you know, my stylist always just does partials on me, but they're just putting the foils in literally the exact same place over and over and over. And then there's like so many areas that are completely untouched and dark and it just like doesn't look cohesive. So that's something that I'm trying to really like make a conscious effort to not do because especially these days, with the way the economy is, unless you're doing their hair for super cheap, which I don't recommend doing, you know, you gotta pay your bills too, charge your worth, but it's like a super competitive world out there right now for service providers. You have to make sure that you're making your client feel really good every single appointment. You can't, I mean, I feel like this has always been the case, but especially now more than ever, you can't just rely on like, Oh, well, she's been coming to me forever. You know, like she's a loyal client. No, <laughs> there is no loyalty anymore, I feel like. And rightfully so. Like, just because you've been going to someone for a long time doesn't mean that you owe them anything, you know? Like, it's still a business client relationship no matter how long you've known this person for. And if you're not providing them value anymore, why are they going to continue going to you when they can go to somebody else that's going to do a better job and make them feel more important? I feel like a lot of the times, and again, I have been guilty of this before, you have a regular and you are just like, oh, okay, you see them on your schedule and you're like, what a relief. Like, they're going to be so easy and no fuss and I already know what we're going to do with them because we always do the same thing and you don't offer them anything different. You just assume it's going to be, you know, more of the same and maybe you're like not being as detailed with their hair as you would with a new client or you're not doing a thorough consultation with them anymore. And especially if you're not even doing a consultation with them, they might not even feel like the opportunity to speak up to ask for something different because if you're already like starting to mix up the product as soon as they sit down, it's like when... One, is there a chance to say, actually, I want to not do that. And if they're paying the same amount as a new client is, which they should be, they should be getting the same kind of treatment that a new client does. And I feel like that's kind of human nature, you know? When you've been working on the same person for a while, you get comfortable. That's totally normal. But really trying to fight that urge so that clients will want to stick with me. 
So here's what my client's hair looked like before. As you can see, it's very blonde, but her natural is really dark. And underneath in the back here was completely untouched. She had what I call just like a black hole. And then in the front, there was a pretty harsh grow out line. So the goal was to brighten up the back and break up that dark hole and then also make the front a little bit softer and more blended so that way when it grows out she doesn't have as much of a harsh line my client is currently processing and i came to the back to make myself a coffee i know a lot of people have been asking is it weird having to just be in a little room with your client is there somewhere where you can go if you need like some time alone or a break and i did show in the last vlog we have a processing room where we can put our clients if we need to and then there's also this break room for us and this is where we do our laundry as well and we have a full-size fridge we can put our lunch and drinks in um and then a cure egg she is just hanging out on her phone so i decided to come back here and make a coffee oh and the air conditioning in my room is fixed they still haven't taken the temporary unit out yet so i'm waiting for that to go hopefully they can come grab that sometime today or at least this week but it's nice and cool in my room and it's like one step closer to everything feeling fully put together I'm gonna go back out there now though and go check her foils. It's gonna be so beautiful. I can't wait to show you the final result. So this is what her hair looked like after. It's just a lot softer and more blended. And now this way she can feel more comfortable wearing her hair up in a ponytail or like half up, half down without having that disconnected dark area. My client's hair came out so beautiful. It wasn't 100% perfect in my eyes. There were a couple areas that did not get as light, like underneath where it was super dark, which is crazy because I started in the back for that reason. And those back foils sat on there for like two hours. And even still, they were kind of stuck at like a warm level eight-ish like between a, like eight, nine sort of, but like very warm, um, which worked out okay because she wanted more of like a warm blonde anyway. When something like that happens, you know, I always say during the consultation too, like especially if it's something that's a little more corrective and it's gonna be a bigger project, I'm always like, you know, I'm gonna do my best to get you where you wanna be, but this is gonna be like, a journey you know it might not necessarily be a hundred percent perfect the first time but if you trust me we will get you there so she was like super understanding and realistic with her expectations and all that to say I mean you saw the pictures it still looked beautiful but I feel like a lot of hairstylists show on social media like these beautiful after pictures and you see their work and you're like oh my god that looks flawless how come my work doesn't always look like that and i just like to keep it real and let you know that it's not always like 100 percent perfect in every single spot even if the final photo looks good and even if the hair is very beautiful but it might not necessarily be as like flawless all around as it might appear to be online. And sometimes when it's a new client, even if it isn't a correction, but sometimes like it just takes a couple appointments for you to get familiar with their hair because not everyone's hair lifts the same or sometimes it takes a couple appointments for you to really understand the client and understand what they do and don't like you know because sometimes even if you are being super thorough with your consultation there can still be like something that got miscommunicated or something that's just a part of 
being human, unfortunately. But yeah, that client was fantastic. And she booked her next appointment and we talked about maintenance and got her on a good plan. That took me with styling and taking after photos and then checking her out, booking her next appointment, the consultation beforehand, like the entire thing from her walking in till she left was four hours and like 15-ish minutes. I can't remember if I said it earlier or not, but I, have been wanting to take a look in home goods and see if they have their fall decor out yet. And I also really wanna get a blanket for in here. I know some clients get a little bit chilly cause like when I'm moving and working, I get a little bit warm. So I might need the room a little bit colder, but the client that's just sitting there might get a little bit chilly. So I wanna get a cute blanket and I think it would be a nice way to just like add a little bit of color in here too. Cause I have everything very neutral, which I like. I feel like it just looks very clean and simple, but it would be nice to add a little bit of color, especially because my branding colors are like sage green. If I can find like a nice sage green blanket, I think that would be perfect to like tie it in a little bit more. The other thing, I know a lot of people were asking me about the glass on this door. Can you put blinds or like frost the window or do something so that people aren't just staring in your room. Here's what I'm thinking. Cause like, this is my view from in the room, right? And I'll, let me show you what it looks like from out there. So if I'm sitting on the couch here waiting, right? You can't really see too much. Like the way the lighting is, you can't see my client at all. You can kind of only see me, if anything. So even though from in here, it's very clear and it looks like it would be super intrusive, but it's really not. And a big reason why I wanted one of the rooms right up front is because it's like free advertising for myself. So there are estheticians. I think we're getting a nail tech as well and possibly a massage therapist. Everyone's like just been moving in at different times. So I still don't even know exactly like who all is in here yet, but it's not all hairstylists. There's other types of technicians. So I felt like being up front, people that are out there waiting for other services that maybe are in need of a hairstylist or just would like the convenience of like coming to the same building to get multiple services done all at once could see my room look inside like i want them to see what my room looks like because i want them to be like oh wow that looks really cute and inviting i would love to go and get my hair done in there and i want them to see me and i want them to see like get kind of a sense of like the vibes overall so that then they'll be like oh she looks cool that's a beautiful room like i'd love i don't want them to just see the sign like oh, okay hair salon cool it's so much more than that like what would set me apart from other hairstylists that are in there or maybe the hairstylists that they currently go to you know like i want to be able to be, be like a billboard for myself so i'm okay with people being able to see into my room while I'm here. And like I said, you can't see like that side of the room where my client is. You really can't see them. So it's still private for them. People are only really able to see me when they look through the window. So I don't know. I don't want to do anything permanent, but I was thinking about maybe getting like a partition, like a little room divider kind of thing that I could put up just while I'm in here filming. But yeah, I just wanted to address that because I got several comments about that in the video I posted yesterday. That's that. But I'm also thinking about propagating some plants and putting them on the ledge up there. I feel like that would look so pretty. And then as they start to grow, having them kind of like hang down a little bit. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do anything like with that little wall space right here in between the windows. I know a lot of people were like, oh, you should get like a lit up sign with your name or, you know, the salon name or something. 
and I go back and forth. I'm on the fence between finding the lights cute and also finding them really overdone and kind of corny and tacky. No offense if you have one and you like it, but I'm just not really sure. I don't know if I want to get one or not. We will see. I also feel like this wall too, like with just the clock there. I don't know. At first I was like, no, that'll be good because I feel like if I put anything else, it might feel a little bit too cluttered. But then part of me is kind of like, no, maybe I should put something there i just don't know but yeah that kind of stuff is just like small details that i'll just figure out as time goes on i'm gonna finish cleaning a little bit and then let's head to home goods okay never mind i uh, have my period and i leaked through my shorts a little bit so <laughs> oh my god i feel like i'm in middle school all over again it's not like <gasps> Did that just happen? No, my nail. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Tragic. I'm just a hot mess right now. Okay, well, at least the majority of the day went well. This is my sign to just take my ass home. Here was client number one's hair before. As you can see, it was really long. It didn't have any shape to it at all. And she does have naturally pretty like wavy curly hair. So the goal was to just give her some more dimension and movement and shape with her haircut. So I started by doing a rough cut first since I knew I was going to be removing a lot of hair throughout her layers. It just made doing the color easier. That way, A, I'm not wasting time in product coloring hair that is going to get cut off but also i can be a little bit more like meticulous and purposeful with my placement already having like the haircut done ahead of time so i decided to do like a free hand balayage on her because she wanted something that was going to just be different but still like pretty natural and lived in and low maintenance nothing like too drastic and hard to keep up with so I wanted to give her something that was going to be like really sun-kissed and pretty and just like enhance her haircut so this is what her hair looks like after we did a little diffusing and look how the curls just bounced up so much I am obsessed it was so pretty I just finished my first client it ended up taking an hour longer <laughs> than I had blocked out, but mostly that was just due to me knowing I had extra time. So I just took my sweet time and it's so nice. I was like so used to for the longest time, like always feeling rushed and it's nice to like have the opposite situation. So now I have about a half hour till my next client comes. So that should be a perfect amount of time for me to just clean really quick and then go eat. But she was so nice. And it's crazy how she found me on Instagram and then come to find out we have so much in common with our family dynamics and how we grew up and relationship situations. That's why like social media marketing is so so important and it's important to like put your personality on your page and don't just make everything too clean cut and professional because you want to be attracting people that have your same type of energy that you're going to click with at least for me anyway you know everybody's different some people are just like whatever i just want clients i don't care who they are but for me, I like to be a little more selective and make sure that I have clients that are going to be a good fit for me because it just makes the job a lot more enjoyable. But yeah, it was really fun to do her hair and it was also like fun to just hang out with her. And she was like the ideal client too because she had some pictures from my page too which is always a good feeling because it's like okay, you like my work and I know that I can deliver what you're asking for because it's something I've done before. And she was super realistic during the consultation. She was like, I really like this girl's hair that you did on your page, but I also understand that like, that's not my hair. Our hair textures are probably a little bit different. So it's not gonna be 
exactly like that but that's sort of the type of vibe i'm going for and then after we did our consultation she was very open to me just having creative freedom and she trusted the process like she wasn't you know questioning every little thing i was doing then at the end when i was diffusing her hair she didn't even look up <laughs> until the very end when it was completely dry which I and I told her I was like I appreciate that so much because there's nothing more nerve-wracking than when you are doing someone's hair for the very first time and they're like constantly looking in the mirror and like doing one of these while you're blow drying it and it's like you can't tell if they're liking it or not and also it's not done yet and it's like just let me blow dry and style it so like then we can talk about it you know she fully trusted me and that is an amazing feeling because I feel very confident with what I do but every once in a while if you have that client that's like making you kind of doubt yourself a little bit it's uncomfortable so it's nice to just kind of like have that confirmation of no I know what I'm doing I got this and yeah it was beautiful she was happy all is good in the world this was my second client on this day and as you can see her hair was Quite uneven as far as the color and the cut so the goal was to give her a bronze balayage something very rooted and natural but just more even and pretty and then also give her a nice layered haircut so again I started with the cut first for the same reasons as the last client did her foils toned her and then this was her final hair so gorgeous I was so happy with how this came out oh my god I'm so tired. It's like 8.40, which is kind of late to be at work still, but I only started at 12, so it's not that crazy. Like working an eight to eight and a half hour day isn't like, that's, you know, pretty standard, but I don't know tonight. I just feel extra tired. I think because the sun is starting to set earlier and earlier now and when it gets dark out my body's natural response is to just feel like oh it's bedtime but my second client went really really well i was a little nervous at first because a she has a lot of hair and i was like oh. b her hair's been through some shit she's like done a lot to it there's a lot of like old color on the ends of her hair and see she brought her mom with her to her appointment and she asked first if she could and i was like yeah that's fine as long as she's fine with like having to kind of hop around because it's pretty small in this room so i had them just kind of like go back and forth it's not ideal all the time but like you know i'm um, I, yeah, I'm fine with making an exception about it, but sometimes when people bring someone with them, the other person can like sometimes, I don't know, like I've, I've had situations where people have brought their mothers with them or a sister or something or a friend and then that other person kind of takes over the consultation part and feels like a little higher pressure because it's like, it's not just me and the client now, now it's like this other person too. So I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know how this is going to end up going, but they were both so fantastic and I'm tired now. I'm not going to lie, but it was worth it. I wish it wasn't dark out so I could have gotten better after pictures and videos and stuff. She was so happy. They both were saying that it looked so beautiful and blended and natural and gorgeous. And that just makes me so happy. So two successful appointments today obviously like i love all of my clients and it is nice the comfort of like having one of your regulars just come in and get like a touch up but there's something like extra rewarding about having a new client come in and want to completely change their look or need something fixed or whatever and you making them really happy it feels so good her mom said that she's gonna come to me so cool so exciting we are just going to close down shop oh my god i'm actually not the last person to leave it's a miracle
Well, thank you. I'm gonna pause this. I was watching slash listening to the Sesh podcast. Have you guys been following the It Ends With Us drama? If you saw my last vlog, I went to go see the movie. In theaters the weekend it came out with my friends and I had no idea about the drama. And now it's like, you know, you watch one thing and then you just keep getting recommended the same stuff over and over and over. And it seems like new stuff has been coming out like every day practically about this. I'm just like, ooh, tea. Like, I don't want drama in my personal life, but as a Gemini, I am always here for the tea. I love gossip, <laughs> especially when it doesn't involve me, you know? But I am just getting ready. Since I don't have a client until later today, I want to go out and run some errands. I also, I'm running very low. I'm like scraping the bottom of this tube of the Tarte Radiant Shape Tape Concealer. I love this. I use it every single time I put any kind of makeup on. And it's like my go-to thing on these like light, no makeup makeup kind of days when I just need like a little something, but I don't feel like doing a full heavy face. So I want to also go stop at Ulta and get another one of those. And I want to finally go to Home Goods, see what kind of decor I can find for the suite. I mainly just want to get a throw blanket. Oh, and I also got some packages that I have to go pick up from the mail room. Okay, I think I'm going to wear these. These are like extra thick and chunky from Amazon, I believe. I feel like depending on what I'm wearing, if I'm wearing like a lower neckline, I guess depending on like how I have my hair too, I'll either do like a stack of necklaces or if I have a higher neckline, I'll do bigger statement earrings. Especially if it's like a more simple kind of outfit, it just like makes it feel a little bit more styled and like there's more effort put into it adorable so here is the outfit very easy very comfy this dress is from h&m i've had it for several years now though and then these shoes are from target they're so comfortable i remember when i first got these i got comments from people like oh my god those are so ugly that's part of why i like them and they're also probably the most comfortable shoes that i own like truly i love these shoes so much and i, I don't care if they're ugly i love them first i stopped to pick up some packages okay this i know what it is because i ordered this myself i got another frame one of those like clear acrylic magnetic frames to put my salon license in because I can't remember if I showed you guys or not, but that arrived earlier this week. Oh, this is hair product. So that keratin treatment that I gave myself a couple weeks ago, I decided to just go ahead and order the big, larger size that they have of it. So I can add it to my service menu and offer it to my clients. So excited about that. And then this, oh my God, I for, totally forgot about this. They had reached out to me um, and asked if they could send me some PR. And I was like, uh, yes, please. And totally forgot. And this is literally, like the timing could not be any more perfect. I, was, I just ran out of my Tarte concealer and was gonna go buy more and now I have this, ooh, and this looks like it's gonna be the perfect shade for me, oh my god. This is the Armani Luminous Silk Multipurpose Glow Concealer. So it sounds like it'll be pretty similar to the Shape Tape Radiant. So this is perfect, they sent me three shades. One is like more my skin tone, another one is lighter for highlighting, and then the other one is darker for contouring or honestly this isn't even that dark for me this would probably just be uh, a little bit I guess but yeah that looks like it could just be like my summer shade 
Ooh, and it like blends out so nicely. We gotta test these out tomorrow. So I guess I don't need to get <laughs> another shape tape. Thank you so much, Armani Beauty. And then I got a package from the main foil, which I'm like, oh my God, so freaking nice of them. She just released a new design of her foils today. And I ordered a box of these this morning. And then lo and behold, there was a box waiting for me. Oh my God, so cute. Okay, I'll show you this when we get to the salon because there's other little stuff in there. Oh, so sweet. And then what is this? We got something from the state board. I also renewed my like individual cosmetology license. So they just sent me that too, which is perfect. So I have this framed in the salon as well. You have to have all this stuff like out on display. I got this vase, so cute. I had this eucalyptus in this little one with that I already had, but I like the black one because it's a little bit bigger and it contrasts better on the dresser because this like is kind of the same color. So yeah, I just like how that looks better. And then this is the blanket I ended up getting. I really like the checker because I feel like it's just fun and cute and youthful. And I feel like everything in here just feels like very clean and fresh and mature, which I also love. But I think it's fun to just add like a little pop of something a little bit like funky kind of. And it's really soft and thick and warm. And it's reversible so this side is just like a plain velvety kind of sage green and then i got this adidas hat i have become such a baseball cap kind of person if i'm not having a good hair day or i just want to like make an outfit more casual or if i'm going to be like out in the sun and i want to cover my face baseball hat always then this is my pr package that I was gonna show you. So the company is called The Main Foil. She also threw in this scrunchie and this little claw clip. Oh my God, I love this color and I don't have a clip in this color yet. So perfect, I love that. She has like so many cute different prints. These are some of the other ones that she has, these stars. If you follow my Instagram, you would have seen them because these have been like pretty much all I've been using. She has this cherry print too. These have been like all I've been using pretty much because they're like so lightweight, but they have really good grip. Like the quality is just so good. And I love to support a small business, especially like a small woman owned business. And she just released this. Print. And I'm like so into the checker. I just think it's cute. I think I will use these today. Thank you so much to the main foil. Look how beautiful they are. I'll link them down below. Go check them out and support. You know, we got to support our fellow beauty professionals and our small women owned businesses. Good morning. I'm very tired. Oh my God. This whole week, I think just because of where I'm at in my cycle, honestly. I've just been feeling like so run down and I haven't been getting the best sleep either. But today is my last work day of the week. So we just gotta get through today and then I can have the weekend to relax. And I'm excited to have off tomorrow because last Saturday I worked. It's nice to get to be home on a Saturday. But I'm gonna try out the Armani concealers. So again, these are the Luminous Silk Multi-Purpose Glow Concealers. And I am using the shade 6.5, which looks like it should be a good, oh yeah, that's perfect for my skin tone right now where I'm at. I'm like in between my summer and winter shades right now. So I haven't really been out in the sun, like laying out by the pool or anything that much. That's like the perfect shade, I think. Undertone wise, it's definitely a bit on the yellow side for me, but I think for under eyes that works because it kind of helps to neutralize the dark circles. I feel like the coverage is pretty decent. 
especially for like what it is you know like on a day where i'm just going really like light soft natural i don't want like a super full coverage like matte under eye concealer because that would just look ridiculous which is why i normally do the shape tape radiant because this is like more glowy and i love the luminous silk foundation from armani so i imagine i'd like the concealers too but i'll see how it wears throughout the day please pay no mind to the mess behind me but here's my outfit oh okay <laughs> yeah i'm just wearing this matching set it is from amazon let me show you in better lighting here is the outfit <sighs> like it's finally over it was a little bit of a panic day hence why i didn't get any footage i didn't even get any pictures or anything and it was a good day people wise both of my clients i mean my second one is one of my regulars and it was her first time coming to see the new suite so that was really nice to see her and catch up and get to show her the new place but i do feel bad because i feel like i was so flustered by the time she got here that i just wasn't able to be like centered and super in the moment i was kind of like i don't know i feel like my my brain was trying to like catch up to what my body was physically doing so it was just one of those days i hate feeling like i'm not giving each person like 100 percent of like my best look at my freaking nails because that's how you know i was like really in just panic stressed mode because i just didn't even put on gloves i was just like Ugh. but my first client's hair was like platinum her hair's actually black and her hair was platinum blonde and you could tell the porosity was like really uneven because there was also some banding in the back and she wanted to be like a dimensional brunette Luckily, this is one thing that I have learned because something that I used to always do in the beginning, even the first few years of doing hair, is I would feel really optimistic and excited and super confident in myself and I would want the client to like get really excited and feel like they're in good hands. Like, oh yeah, I can definitely give you what you're asking for. And like, I mean, obviously I would say that because that's truly how I felt, I really would go into it thinking like, oh, I got this. But then every so often you run into a situation where, like unless you are working with virgin hair, sometimes you just don't know. And when it's like a client that has an extensive hair history and it's the first time you're doing their hair, you just don't really know how their hair is going to take all the time. And it sometimes doesn't, go exactly the way you anticipate so i'm so glad that during the consultation you know i let her know that because her hair is so porous and it's so so light it's a little tricky to go darker and also get like the exact kind of tone that you're looking for because sometimes the hair just being so porous it just wants to suck the color up and it might end up coming out a little bit darker or sometimes it's the opposite and it just doesn't really take at all and so you know I was like I'm gonna try my best to get you in the general like realm of what you're looking for but you know I just want to make sure that we're both being realistic and understand that like we're gonna kind of have to just see what the hair does and then go from there so I filled her hair first and then I applied just like a chocolatey brown I did like a really light brown technically like dark blonde color on some pieces in a foil as like the highlights and then everywhere else I put like a darker chocolatey brown her hair came out purple like it was literally lavender like a dark lavender and you couldn't even see the dimension like the lighter color even though the highlights i did a level eight and then everything else i did a level five that's three levels 
of difference. You should definitely see the dimension. And literally, when I pulled the foils out, it was like, it just all looked the same. And I was like, okay, not only do we not have dimension, but it's lavender. So I put a gloss over it. I did a lot of gold to try to like neutralize it. It literally, that did absolutely nothing. So then I put a permanent color. <laughs> so I was like, okay, obviously I need something with like more coverage. And that helped. It neutralized it and made it more just like a chocolatey brown, but no dimension. So it just ended up being a solid color. And you know, like I spent all that time going through and doing, you know, weaving out the lighter pieces and blending and doing all that and it was all for nothing and I was like I spent all this time I used all this product and when you're panicked like that and then you have another client coming after and now you're running behind and you're like you know you don't want the client to be unhappy but you're, you're just like don't really know what to do and you're feeling flustered and when you're in a bigger salon and you have like a full stock of a whole color line you can kind of just like use what you need to use but here I have limited stock so I was like crap okay what am I gonna do how am I gonna make this work her hair in the end was really pretty and she was so lovely and like so laid back and understanding and she liked it in the end and I ended up charging her less than what I originally quoted her because I felt like even though yes I took the time and the product but still, you know, you come in asking for one thing and you leave with something like very different. It just, I don't know, it just didn't really feel, I didn't feel comfortable still charging her for like a full dimensional color and all of that when she just ended up leaving with a solid color. I was like really stressed there for a while and I was just kind of like, oh my God, I just want this day to be over. So yeah, sorry I didn't get any footage. But that was my day and you know it's it's all fine it's we're done now my clients were great that's the thing like when you have a stressful situation like that and the client is not understanding and they're like just being kind of mean to you then that makes it even worse but the lesson from that is make sure that you are setting realistic expectations from the start and anytime you're doing something that is sort of corrective you have to be honest and let them know that like you can't a hundred percent guarantee their results after the first session and just so that way like if something doesn't end up going the way you were expecting you don't feel like oh shit now I'm gonna look like a liar or like I don't know what I'm doing and then if everything goes perfectly then it works out because then you end up exceeding their expectations definitely under promise and over deliver when I have days like this I do like to share it because I know every stylist has days like that where they're like oh I just it wasn't my best and you just kind of want to go home and just reset and start fresh the next week. <laughs> and I feel like I had so many like really, really good days that I knew I was bound to have a day where things didn't go like as perfectly. It's all good now. It is, it's, it is what it is. But I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Make sure you're following me on Instagram if you aren't already so that you can keep up with me in between YouTube videos. And I'll see you really soon. Bye.